Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 Alpha Star Replay cast. We have got ourselves a match on King's Cove to get things started. And so, in the top left hand side of the map, we have got a buggy AI. Today it is Alpha Star playing Zerg. Uh, doing the extractor trick like a boss, which is, uh, I'm not sure if that's something that Alpha Star always does or not. Anyway, uh, that would be something worth looking into. And taking on Alpha Star, we've got none other than uh, the guy who's been in a lot of these videos. It is Diamond Player. And uh, yeah, Diamond Player is up to no good this match. He is going to be cannon rushing the bejeebus out of Alpha Star. However, maybe not. Seeing as how the AI knows that it's in Diamond League, seemingly, and is going for a very early spawning pool to try and say, no, 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 no cannons. <laughs> and I wonder if the fact, if the frequency of cannon rushes is something that actually made Alpha Star pick to go for an early pool. Uh, but yeah, I think as a Protoss player, you gotta be a little bit like, eh, when you see that uh, your opponent has just kind of countered your, countered your, countered your spawning pool by going, or countered your cannon rush by going for a spawning pool. And so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Because Alpha Star is going to be able to fire up some lings here soon. But the diamond player, not to be deterred, is going to keep building cannons. And so, uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, seeing as how we're going to have three pylon for the diamond player, let's try and go for three likes on this video. Uh, we take a look. There is now a double gas follow-up from the diamond player, and he's already going for a gateway, so he's not committing too much to this. Just going to try and cancel the cannon, or cancel the hatchery at the third base with a couple of cannons, and that could very well work for him. Uh, Alpha Star, depending, could just kill this pylon with a queen on the high ground, but uh, we shall see how that's going to work out. How Alpha Star will handle this? This is this is a bit of a curveball. Having your can having your third base cannon rush, even though you opened up with an early pool. Maybe this is going to throw Alpha Star off, but uh, for the Diamond player, I think we are going to need to see a cannon thrown up in his main base or a Zealot Chrono boosted out right away because uh, these Lings are starting to move across the map for Alpha Star. The third base is under fire by these cannons. Alpha Star doesn't actually cancel that base, and the Diamond player decides to build up another pylon, which is really quite odd, I'll say. And I think he might have blocked his probe in, so he can actually continue this cannon rush, but uh, he will at least get this hatchery, which is quite nice. Alpha Star stuck on one base, the Protoss player on one base. This Zealot does just pop out, but it's kind of on the wrong side of town, but uh, the Sim City is working out okay for the Zealot, and all he's got to do is wait for this cannon to finish up, so he'll lose a few probes, it seems, but... Uh, won't actually take too much damage. The cannon now done. Gonna shoot one or two of those lings in the butt as they retreat. And we have our wacky one base versus one base scenario continuing on. I'm not sure if this is standard for Alpha Star, so I'm not sure that the AI is gonna know how to deal with this from this position. But if we do take a look, there is a lot of lings now out for Alpha Star. There's 21 lings in all. And against just a couple of zealots and a cannon, there is potential, I'd say, for Alpha Star to get something done with these lings, but uh, it looks like the cannon, the Zealot, is enough to dissuade those from going in. Alpha Star has made a lot more, though. So, uh, uh, we'll see if the AI is gonna think, okay, this is enough lings to commit when I've been, when I've been cannon rushed and my opponent is still one basing, I'm kind of just on one base. H how many is the right amount of lings to attack? It seems that the AI is never one to overcommit to a fight, that uh, it doesn't really need to take, unless it's, say, maybe a defensive fight. Like, if the AI is defending against something odd, like a battle cruiser, it might just try and fight the BC with, like, three stalkers. But uh, the Ling's now going to move in for Alpha Star. Going to try and cancel this base. They'll do that right away. So the Diamond Player locked on one base for now. Uh, going up against... Going up against Alpha Star. He's got three gateways making three adepts, because why not? And then, uh, yeah, let's take a look here. Okay, we see the Stalker engaging a few of the Lings, Alpha Star. Uh, gonna lose, gonna lose two Lings to that Stalker. 
and we see the three adepts are about to pop out, so that should be enough for the diamond player to move out and secure up his natural base. But Alpha Star's already mining on two bases, so the economy of the AI is pretty good. The Roach Warren's just about done. There's an Evo Chamber on the way as well. Uh, I do like what the diamond player is doing right here, using these cannons that were never cleaned up to to get a warping off that could potentially get a lot of counter damage done. Uh, we'll see if they actually do, of course. But uh, the diamond player, he's going to be able to shade these adepts in, maybe kill off quite a few drones, give Alpha Star a taste of its own medicine by killing off workers with adept. These adepts, they aren't going to get too much done at the natural. They will shade into the main base. We'll see if they keep moving or not. Lings are going to come in, though, which will help clean this up. And so the adepts aren't actually going to get all that much done. The diamond player just decides to warp in a few more adepts. He hasn't gone for a natural base yet, and it seems like this is just going to be a big old one base all in from the diamond player. It very well could work, depending on if Alpha Star starts making roaches or not, but I feel if Alpha Star turns out a half decent amount of roaches, this attack is going to be bound to fail, and Adept is going to run right into these links, which is no good for the Adept. May she rest in peace. And then uh, these units are just going to try and retreat on home, but uh, like, uh... What do you do? Now that the Zerg's making roaches, these Adepts are going to engage the Lings. Alpha Star realizes that's quickly a no-go fight, decides to back off. And the AI, yeah, making roaches has roach speed on the way, just off of two bases. Uh, like, could we even... We're probably just going to see one of those pushes, right? It's just going to be like one of those clean Ling roach pushes. These Adepts not targeting down drones is a bit of a bummer for the Diamond player. He definitely could have got a few kills there. And seeing as how he's just building up a Nexus back at home, I'm rather, rather concerned for him. We take a look here. The Diamond player is going to be still just getting up his natural base. No extra tech, no Twilight, nothing like that. And he is going to be going for an attack, but it seems like such a far-fetched attack. He's got the plus one, yes which I didn't even notice him start. His Zealots are going to buffer for what they can, but it's just a couple of Stalkers to deal damage against all these Roaches. I think these units need to start retreating, but I don't think that's going to happen. And so the Diamond player is in a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, a direct attack against Alpha Star was not what he needed. The AI is going to start making more Roaches, more Lings, and the Diamond player has got basically nothing now at this point. I mean... He hasn't really made any probes for quite a while. He never threw up a twilight. Now we're going to see double robo, three shield battery off of one pylon. So I'm hoping he's going to build another pylon. But at least he's got the idea that he's going to need some anti-roach and defense to go with it. Uh, stalkers and cannons doing what they can against this roach force. But it's, it's quite a lot of roaches here. And uh, the diamond player has got three adepts. Three adepts against 15 roaches. I'll take those odds. Except there's two ravagers, seven lings, four queens to go with that. Alpha star firing up plus two. The diamond player, I mean, he's gonna have double robo, but he won't have, he won't have double robo kind of money since he never really made any more than any more workers. So he's got these robos selected, we see, but he's like, crud, I'm broke. All right, there's the one immortal. Okay. Is there going to be a second immortal? Supply, by the way, Alpha Star tripling the diamond player. There's an uh, observer following up this immortal. I mean, two immortals with three shield batteries is pretty darn good. But this is a lot of Zerg now moving out on the map. This is like a lot of Zerg. And there's actually only just going to be one immortal. A couple of stalkers warping in to help out. Eh... I mean, there's a chance shield batteries are pretty good. But boy, oh boy, am I ever worried. The Observer's not moving out, and oh my god, what are you doing, Diamond Player? Do not step outside of your home. You are not allowed to go out. You're grounded. You gotta stay home. Uh, because Alpha Star is gonna be coming in with all of these roaches now, gonna be charging up. Uh, the Stalkers and Immortal should be able to help against some of the roaches, but the problem is the amount of the roaches there's another immortal on the way but it's not being chrono boosted out and uh that immortal really needs to be chrono boosted out there we go two more immortals on the way if those two bad boys pop maybe there's a chance maybe maybe there's a chance the zealot being warped in for good measure for good buffer and uh the diamond player he's still at a third of the supply of alpha star but immortals are pretty good We'll see. I don't think Immortals are this good. 
uh, particularly if they just get Corrosive Piled down. The Diamond Player is going to try and retreat, but he's quite a ways away from his shield batteries. One of the Immortals pops out on the wrong side of town, Corrosive Piled hitting this army. The Robos are actually going to get killed off. The Immortals can kite back doing what they can. Actually in a pretty, pretty marvelous choke point against these Roaches. And so the Roach numbers are actually being thinned out quite a bit by these Immortals, but Alpha Star is still coming forward. Going to be targeting down one of the Immortals at not getting microed back, not getting microed into the shield battery was a big mistake. Uh, three more Adepts got warped in. That's not what you want, guy. And unsurprisingly, Alpha Star is going to take this game. But uh, GG, good effort by the Diamond player. All right, so Alpha Star kind of just uh, wrecked the Masters player like it was nothing. But uh, now we'll see if, I mean, wrecked the diamond player. But I, I like that build. That's the kind of Alpha Star game I like, the, the wackiness. Uh, I think if the diamond player improved a little bit on his follow-up to his cheese, maybe he could have held on. Maybe we could have seen a game, or more of a game. But uh, anyway, here we have the opponent for Alpha Star. It's a Masters Protoss this match. Going to be taking on Alpha Star in a good old PvP. Toss versus Toss, and yeah, uh, Alpha Star has been looking pretty darn good. I've been uh, been thinking about how many games Alpha Star has lost lately, and it's not it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's a very very high win rate for the AI. Uh, and the simulator is on the way for Alpha Star. Uh, double assimilator on the way for the Masters player, so we'll probably, I'm guessing, be seeing that one gate expand against the not-so-normal expansion. The Masters player, yeah, just going for the typical build, which is which is common, so there's nothing that you can really fl fault the Masters player to, but Alpha Star just going to go for that one gateway expand, and I haven't had a ton of time to play StarCraft 2 myself lately, but I have really, really been enjoying... Uh, Really, really been enjoying in PvP going for the one gateway expand. Even if you die, it's fun trying to hold on against whatever cheese your opponent will probably throw at you. And so it, it, it is quite enjoyable. Just trying to just trying to survive with your ton of shield batteries if your opponent cheeses or tries to punish your early nexus. Now uh, we take a look. Probe on the way for the Masters player. Going to be scouting this out and be like, a nexus... What? That doesn't work out. And then he's probably going to be like, grrr, and decide to throw up, throw up a robo or something like that. Proxied. Uh, the Masters player does come, does come in. He does spot the Nexus. He's going to be like, oh, that, that's an odd wall you got there. That's, that's an odd number of two gateways. And so we'll see if the Masters player is going to react to this in an aggressive way. Alpha Star going for the one Adept. Chrono boosted out. Extra Adept on the way now. And is he going to do it? Yes, of course he's gonna do it. Alpha Star knows these guys so well. And so if you ever see someone go for a one gateway expand, it might, in PvP, it might not be the best idea to try and punish it head on. Unless you're already planning to go for like a cheese. As uh, Alpha Star seems to hold these a lot, and we'll see if this is gonna be another one of those miracle holds. Uh, the Masters player has a Robo on the way at that pylon now. Double Stalkers on the way out. And uh, yeah, we'll see if Alpha Star can keep another hold going. These two Adepts, they're prepping their shade away, I guess, just to uh, try and defend against any units that would be sent their way. But instead, Alpha Star not really in position to help defend against this. It's going to be the three-gate Robo play. Another Stalker marching out on the map. Hallucinated Phoenix is going to be scouting this out. And then uh, we'll take a look. Another Stalker moving out. Uh, this Stalker runs into the Adept, so that should tip the tip the Masters player off that he basically needs to wall this off, but he is not actually doing that. Now the probe comes in at, at an okay time, so he'll be safe in that regard. Phoenix flies in over the main, gonna see a ton of probes. First shield battery goes up for Alpha Star, runs into a Phoenix, and uh, looks like the proxy that the Masters player has was found. But uh, I don't honestly know if Alpha Star will hold on. I know the AI usually does, but against Immortals and Stalkers, Phoenix are going to be tight pressed to make to make a defense happen. Uh, the Masters player executes this somewhat decently, and so we see Alpha Star kind of panicking, seeing Rut Row throwing up three shield batteries. These Adepts are going to be shading out, but Alpha Star probably needs them for the defense. These Phoenix are moving out. They're going to fly right on over this. 
Uh, they're going to take shots from a Stalker, which is no good. That's not a good start to this. And oh boy, I think Alpha Star might actually just be dead in this one. Uh, we see more batteries going on up, but it's powered by just one pylon that can be targeted down. Alpha Star is not going to be able to save the pylon. All but one of the shield batteries are unpowered. Probes are being pulled. The Phoenix do lift the Immortal out of the equation, which is good. Uh, the Immortal might actually die as the probes are body blocking as well as they can. Stalker's starting to be lifted up now, however. Phoenix are being targeted down with those shield batteries unpowered. It's rather tough for Alpha Star to make this hold happen. Another pylon did just finish up to help out here. However, that pylon's just as vulnerable as the last. So the Masters player may very well be able to punish that. And oh, the Stalkers of Alpha Star are taking a lot of damage. Probes have to be pulled once again. It's going to be a very, very close battle. I mean, uh, the Phoenix just really tanking as their main component. The probe count still remains in the lead for Alpha Star, and Alpha Star is about to have out its own immortal, and that may be all the AI needs. Uh, looks like this pylon is going to be unpowered, so all those shield batteries unpowered, Alpha Star decides to throw up another pylon to counter this. Probes are going to need to be pulled to help buffer for this immortal, I feel, but with this pull, that might be enough in order to send this Protoss player packing. The immortal's taking a lot of damage, though, not enough of a buffer here to help out, and so that's bad news for Alpha Star. Another immortal's on the way. Over once again, the AI has just rebuilt one pylon. A second one is building again, though, so maybe learn from its mistakes. And it looks like that the Masters player is being repelled for now. Alpha Star remains in lead of a base, in lead of about 10 workers. And uh, now with this Immortal done, with the shield battery finished up, I think Alpha Star is actually going to hold it. Oh my god, it's it's crazy how the AI does these holds. You think it's like, oh, it's just got like a Phoenix or two. And like, that's pretty much it. And then it still holds on against a very high number of units. And oh my god, it's just crazy how the AI holds. All these shield batteries are going to be having a lot of value, and I just don't think there's a chance that the Masters player can break this. And so as a result, we see him transitioning. He's now going to be getting up a Robo Bay. And I, w I was getting excited for a second. I thought we were going to have a three-game uh, three match, but Alpha Star says, no, that's, that's not how this works. I don't lose. And uh, so far, that does seem to be the case. The Masters player is uh, starting to play 40 chess, though, as he decides to throw up a Nexus in the top right hand side after his uh, after his proxy failure. He is getting up a robo base, so potential disruptor. But uh, the problem with disruptors is they can be lifted up by Phoenix very, very easily. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to see a miracle for that to work. But you gotta do something as the Masters player, I guess. Alpha Star still just sitting pretty at a very high worker count. Getting up extra gateways, making more Phoenix. Double Immortals out. Uh, in comes the Prism, but you gotta be careful with that when there's Phoenix out. Looks like the Masters player is planning on going for yet another attack. The Phoenix have come back into position, though, for Alpha Star. There's even a Sentry which can uh, uh, toss down a Force Field if need be, but so far that first Disruptor doesn't get what it needs. Uh, Alpha Star lifts up its own Sentry which is a little bit interesting. Alpha Star is just kind of like bullying its own unit. Like, what are you going to do about it, Sentry? Can't do nothing. You got no arms. And, uh... Yeah, now we take a look here. Uh, Disruptors for the Masters player may be able to get a big hit, but after seeing Alpha Star back away from that first Nova, I doubt it it's going to be hit, getting hit by a second one. Uh, as the Disruptor count grows, though, it does become harder and harder. The Masters player has recalled some of his probes from his main base to keep his mining optimal. Uh, the army is growing for the Masters player. He's he's given it his all, that's for sure. He's even making, making more and more probes, so he's going to be having an okay economy. And the game's going to continue on. I think it's it's definitely an uphill battle still. But with some good Disruptor hits, maybe there's a chance. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I mean, Phoenix don't scale amazingly. Indirect fights, so uh, we shall see. Although at this point, how many Phoenix is there? Eight Phoenix against eight Stalkers. Okay, I think, I think Alpha Star is actually going to be just okay. A third base is getting thrown up for the AI, just casually like a boss. 
The Masters player isn't making another Disruptor, but there we go. I'm curious that he hasn't tried to like poke in or lob any more Novas up this ramp. But there we go, now he's gonna move in. He might even catch a Phoenix or two. He's gonna toss out a Nova, but the Disruptor gets lifted up. And all of a sudden, the firepower, the fight from this army has been removed. The Phoenix just gonna be killing everything off. <laughs> and this was just a slaughter for Alpha Star, just cleaning this up. And uh, GG gets called. Alpha Star takes another two to zero in, uh, in the Alpha Star series. No surprise there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this match, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Join the Discord, which is linked down in the description. There's also the, the join button, which can get you various perks and such. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Laughing Games.